Hey everybody, the Bongus here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Pumpkin King for the Game Boy Advance. Now, probably back in the days, a lot of kids heard of The Nightmare Before Christmas, which is still well loved by some kids and single moms in their 30s, but that's neither here nor there. It turns out there actually was a Game Boy Advance game of this particular IP. And I saw a few, like a couple Tim Burton's movies back in the day. I don't think I saw this one. I did see Edward Scissorhands. I think that's a Tim Burton movie. And I saw Corpse Bride. They were okay for what they were. But anyway, let's get started, shall we? The only options are your language settings. Hey, he's trying to get out of the screen. Alright, start a new game. Twas Halloween Eve, quite a long time ago. Many a year before Jack's adventure with Christmas, Sandy Claus, and Snow. Look, it had Christmas in the title, so I might as well play it around the Christmas season. Halloween is just hours away! I'm so excited. I'm like a kid in a cadaver store. I can only wait to show the good ghouls of Halloween Town my latest trick. Tonight they will all see why I'm called the Pumpkin King. Tonight will be perfect! What could go wrong? Well, you being in a video game is uh, not a good sign. That means something will go wrong. Jack Skellington? The Pumpkin King? Never heard of him. He runs Halloween Town. Jack's the scariest guy around. Really? Even scarier than me, Oogie Boogie? King of all bugs? Uh, well, yes, I mean, no, I mean, silence! Go into Halloween Town and bring me this pumpkin king. It's time we met. <laughs> Master Oogie. We begged him! It was easy! He's not tough at all! Excellent! Come out and show your face, Pumpkin King! Where am I? Who are you? What? I told you to kidnap Jack Skellington! Who is this ragdoll? Uh, good question, boss. She looked like Jack in the dark. Wait, this is Dr. Finkelstein's new assistant, Sally. No, her name is, uh, Polly. No, you dope, it's Sissy. No, you're the Sissy. Oh yeah, yeah, you're a... Shut up! Jack or no Jack, I'll show him and his town what a real king can do. And all the bugs, I guess. Hope they have no raid. Oh, okay. I move the D-pad. There's acid coming out of the fountain, which is perfect. What has happened here? The mayor, the doctor, the werewolf, and the witches! Where did they go? Something must be terribly wrong. I must... I must express concern in interpretive dance. This place has turned into a... A ghost town! And not the good kind. I've gotta find everyone! Or this Halloween is going to be a disaster! Oh, I lost a bit of health there. Well... Okay, I can grab ledges, as well as jump. But look at that graceful jump animation he's got going. There we go. Oh, we need a tutorial on how to climb ladders, too. I don't have an attack button or anything. Oh, 
Hopefully I will real soon. And how else am I gonna fight bugs? Jack! Jack, it's you! Boy, am I glad to see a friendly skull. What's happened here? Where is everyone? Bugs, Jack! Our dear town is infested with nasty, awful bugs! Everyone is hiding. And on Halloween of all days! It's a disaster, Jack. Calm down now. Let's get to the bottom of this. I, I need to get to the bottom of this. And fast! Oh, I accidentally skipped the dialogue, so if you hold A, it just keeps going. I knew we could count on you. Here, you'll need this more than me. Frog gun. Press the B button to kill bugs with its frog breath. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Just please don't aim it towards me. Thanks, Mr. Bear. Don't you worry. I won't let anything stop Halloween. We're counting on you, Jack. Good luck. Okay, I don't know if I have unlimited ammo with this thing. Oh nice, I got my health back. Oh, it makes a whistle every time. Even if you're at full health. Alright, I press select and it shows you your map. This is not a very small area. Look at all these places we can go to. I can go up, but I can also go down. Pause just shows me all this, like my pickups, which I have nothing. As well as my extras, for which I have nothing. What if I go down anyway? What if I decide to be defiant? That might be a good reason to come down this way if it's optional. Oh, apparently I cannot crawl. This must be something I have to unlock. Alright, guess I will have to follow the actual course of the game. Maybe I should be doing that from now on until I get a lot more abilities. Okay, at least I have a little bit of rapid fire on this, to a degree. I guess I should just keep following the signs. Rather than take detours for now. Hello. Check! How do you like the frog gun? Do you know about the pickups and the shrunken heads? As your mirror, I can explain them. Do you want an explanation? I guess. First, I'll tell you about the shrunken heads. Pick up a shrunken head, and your max health will go up. The lower right bar shows how much health you have. If it reaches zero, then I'm afraid you're done for. You want lots of health, so I'll seek out the shrunken heads. <coughs> there are ten in all. Actually, there is one right around here. As for the pickups, the residents' most prized possessions are hidden all around town. I guess they're hoping this way the bugs won't find their valuables. There are twenty hidden pickups in all. See how many you can collect as you rid our town of these bugs. Also, the fish bones will allow you to recover your health. The bigger the bone is, the more health you recover. So, be sure to pick them up. Alright, is this map the only area I have, or will there be other places? I guess we'll have to see. This looks like a dead end. What's waiting for me here? Ah! That's where the shrunken head is! Good stuff. Oh, I didn't know I can aim the gun upward. Ah, you can use the bugs as a platform. I was wondering what 
what they do if they glow blue. And now we know. The electric chair. I don't know what that did. Did that did that heal me or did I save my game? Oh, you're the one that saves my game. Sure. I'm guessing the electric chair fully healed me. Jack! Look at that one! It's telling me to go right. So what? I'm so worrying about it. That's one huge bug! It's almost like Behemoth! Are you scared? I know I am. There's an even bigger one back there. What? This bug is just the lackey, so watch out for his boss. Be careful, Jack. Hmm. I got a bad feeling about this, but... I can't turn back now. The town is counting on me. Ah, that fishbone is so sad. Of course, it's a spider. Arachnophobes might have to look away. Oh, first boss. Doesn't seem threatening so far. Just gotta wait for it to drop. Ow. Uh oh, it's stuck! How do I get it off? So apparently you cannot shoot upward when you're jumping, that's annoying. Oh, get it off! I'm guessing I won. <laughs> Him. He's just having the time of his life. Well, life in quotation marks given that he's a skeleton. But you know. Semantics aside. I guess I could have just gone back. Jack's house? Oh, this is its own area too. What else is over here? Dr. Finkelstein's lab. Another electric shell. I guess I should save so I don't have to fight the spider again. Where else have I been to? Okay. I do see that there are a bunch of icons on the map. That's helpful. Pumpkin patch. Well, guess I'm not gonna be able to go much else. So why don't we just go to Jack's house? This has a bit of a Portrait of Ruin vibe. There's a big ass hub, and it's got a levels inside, which have their own maps. Well, that was stupid. I'm just wondering if there's any, like, breakable walls in this. Somehow I doubt it. That'd be a bit deep for this kind of game. Hello. Ah! Jack, Lock, Shock, and Barrel are racing all over Halloween Town. 
I'll just bet that they're up to no good. Where's your pal, Zero? Uh, he hit himself to repair himself? I mean, if those kids are up to something, Zero's nose will sniff it out. Zero's nose always glows when there's something suspicious around. Ah! Alright, well I guess I'm on the lookout then. I feel like these are there for something. And then later on you should be able to break them. It'll be a while before we can do that though. Oh, why did I do that? I'm already at full health. Well, they keep the uh, electric chairs and the scarecrows close to each other, uh, as you would. I mean, who doesn't do that, though? Don't you keep your electric chairs close to your scarecrows? I mean, something's gotta motivate the crops to grow. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, I better. I can reach out on the other side. Alright, so I guess now we're in Jack's actual house. Hmm, is there a reason to do that? I don't think so. I think that's just doing it for the sake of doing it. Okay, like, since there's no other uh, pickups from enemies outside of health, I probably don't have to be. Uh... At what the? Was that an invisible enemy? For some reason, that was a bit hard to latch on to. Don't know why. Hey, you. Thanks. At least some bugs are more reliable for dropping fish bones. Found the shrunken head here yet. Hello, it was in a carriage. Okay, that was kind of cool. Oh, I can see those bugs. So far, so good in this game. I mean, it's a pretty neat search action style game for what it is. I still refuse to say that word for these kinds of games. Zero! Ah, oh, there you are. Zero, you're alright! I was worried about you. Oh no. What's this? That's called a barrier. Yes! We trapped Jack! Now we'll get some new nugget as our reward. Those pesky brats. We'll have to find another way out, Zero. I suppose we can go this way. 
Aha! Do you want to guide Zero through the chimney? Hey, what's this? Oh, you, you just avoid the spider webs. Arf, arf, arf. Hey, I got the shrunken head. Apparently you can find him in these sequences, too. It's got a bit of a space harrier feel without the actual shooting. I guess you take damage if you're caught by a web. That's a very deep chimney. Well, that's one way to get out. Now what? Can you do something with this? No, it's telling me to go up. Was that arrow always there? Am I losing my mind? Well, at least now we have zero, so I guess it's kind of an ability. There we go. I will save. Yeah, we can't go any farther than this, so we'll have to go back. Oh, we can get some fast travel points unlocked. We're gonna have to walk all the way there. Arf, arf. Oh, those cannons can hurt you even if they don't shoot? That's dumb. Oh, well. Oh dear, did you hear all the noise from the doctor's lab? I'll check it out. Hope the doctor and Igor are alright. Don't forget about Sally. Sally? Who is that? She's a living rag doll that the doctor invented. The doctor's lab was locked. But, I unlocked it a few minutes ago, so you will be able to get inside. How convenient. Oops. Got a careless there. I guess we can just jump right into Dr. Finkelstein's lab. At least they straight up said that Finkelstein is the doctor, not the monster. Not Howard Finkelstein. That's a completely different being. What? Oh, come on. Wait, how the hell are you supposed to get past that? Huh? Um... Um... How was I able to get past it the first time? And now I'm almost dead. Oh, no I'm not, because I still have the shrunken heads. And now I have one left. What happens if I go to the electric chair? 
Does it recover the other head? Oh, yes, that's... Oh, that's real good. So each head gives you five wedges of health. That's very generous. Okay, so I had to run like full speed. That's what I was messing up the first time, few times. There we go. That's just me being dumb. Arf, arf. How big is this place, anyway? Um... Well, probably be going left or would be going right. I have no idea. Ah, I thought I got past it. The slugs. They are very alert. Watch out for them. Think going left, what if I went this way instead? What if I didn't listen to the game? Well, you have to listen to the game because you can't go beyond there. I don't know, we're, we're, we're not gonna throw down. You just you're gonna have to be thrown out. so sad when he's uh, gripping it. Look at him. He's like, hey, you can hit the up, up on the D-pad, please. My bones are getting numb. Huh? I thought I... Hey, it's Grand Scaravich! I remember you from X6. Maybe I should stop exploring optional areas, because I feel like the game goes out of its way to tell you, no, go here. Go this way specifically. But I often feel like I'm going to get shafted if I don't do that. Is that a lollipop? What the hell does that do? Black Candy, Barrel's favorite sweet treat. Doesn't even say what it does. I guess it's just there for the sake of, you know, hoarding. No. May not even have a purpose or anything at all. Ah, oh, come on. I quit it. Well, at least it wasn't an empty handed trip. So there's that at least. So I will say that arrows telling you which way is the right way is, believe it or not, quite welcome when you want to explore. It's like, okay, well this way is wrong, so let me see what's there first, if I can do anything at all. And sometimes you can. Not often, though. Huh? 
Lab notes, materials. Centipede tail, rat scale, bat beard, lizard claw. Okay, centipede tail, rat scale, bat beard, lizard claw. My bat boomerang is finally complete. This Halloween's Ghastly Gadget Award will be all mine yet again. Dr. F. Seems to be one of the Doc's new inventions. It might come in handy. Let's take it, Zero. Ooh, a new weapon? LRR button selected, B button to throw it. Where is the doctor anyway? We need to find him. Well, it's a good thing I did go that way then. Okay, it seems to have less attack power than the other weapon. Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Uh. Could I have gone right and then go up? The arrow did tell me to go left, originally. But it was in the opposite direction of this weapon. Also, I think the uh, Bat Boomerang, even though it might have more range, does less damage. Yeah, see, now it requires two hits to deal with them. Ah! Now we're cooking. The bat boomerang is for those, uh, levers. Not really that much for combat. Okay. Thought there'd be like a secret up there. I was wrong. Oh, boss coming? A snake? Dr. Finkelstein? What a wonderful new pet you have! This is no pet, Jack, my boy! I've been captured! Help! Oh my god, it looks so dopey, too. You can only do damage to it when its mouth is open. Alright, let me switch to the frog gun. That missed somehow. Oh damn, it got fireballs too. Okay, this is gonna be a pin in the ass to hit. Wait, can it not be hit with the frog gun? So you have to use the rings? Uh oh. We're not gonna appear on the left side. I thought it was exclusively the right side. Did I get hit even though I was ducking? That's rude. I love bosses that are only vulnerable for like maybe a couple seconds at a time. Don't you love that? gonna make- Ah, the flames are still there.
Are you kidding me? I did zero damage then. Okay, I'm I'm not really liking this boss at all. And I have no idea how much Ah oh, come on! I have no idea how much damage I'm doing. Oh my Christ! And when it's breathing fire, you can do no damage with a weapon. That's what I hate. Okay, that was enough. That's quite a step up compared to the first boss. Good lord. You'd think that would be like the third or the fourth boss, not the second one. Uh, can you skip that? No, he, I don't think he can. A huge snake suddenly appeared while I was doing my research. Oh, that's right. Sally! Jack, you must save her. Those three little hooligans grabbed her and took off. What? Lock, shock, and barrel? Why would they do that? I have no idea. But I want my Sally back safe and sound. Just leave it to me, Doctor. I'll bring this Sally back. Take that bat boomerang with you. Please find her, Jack. Okay. If I must... Before you go... Corpse Kid was here when the snake came. He ran off during the attack. I wager he ran all the way to the pumpkin patch by now. Oh, if you're worried about him, why not check out the pumpkin patch? Now then, I got more research to attend to. Okay, I know there was like... more of this path to the right? When I got the bat boomerang and then I turned around. So I wonder what else was there before I leave this lab. Uh oh. Okay, at least I got that health that was dropped. I didn't think those dung beetles could do that. see what else is over there. And then we can ah, head out. Okay. We're off to a decent start. Jack Skellington! I'm working on some fantastic new creations. I have some useful items in the works. Please, save Sally. But Igor hasn't come back with the materials I need. What's taking him so long? Oh, wow. I actually can't explore here. So whatever is beyond there, I, I can't go there anymore. Wow. That kind of sucks. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, they actually put that barrier there. Oh wait, isn't that the barrier I saw before? That now, that's permanently taken down? Okay, that's helpful. I have a slight shortcut for myself, which I surely needed. Okay, I guess there's nowhere else to go other than just break your way up, then right, then down, then left again.
Okay, so the pumpkin patch is somewhere to the right of here, I think. Arf, arf. There it is. Still can't crawl, though, so there's still a lot of this I cannot do. And there's a lot I can't do in the... in Jack's house. Or in the lab. So I'll probably have to visit, like, some areas more than once. Twice, even? Hell, maybe three times? Who knows? In any case, let's stop the video here, and in the next part, we'll be going to the pumpkin patch. Bye now, thanks for watching.